Hey everyone, and today we're going to be discussing a little bit about going to online film school. My name is Paul Fernandez, and I am a filmmaker. I'm also a student filmmaker of the Los Angeles Film School. All right, so first of all, can you learn anything from an online school? The most film school, that is something that should be a lot more hands-on. Well, the real answer is yes, you can. Now, there's a huge, huge difference uh, going to online film school and going to a brick and mortar film school. And the main difference is you will not have a lot of the help you would have uh, going to a brick and mortar school. And you will not have a team to work with you unless you have friends to participate in your projects or if you decide to pay people to participate on them. So this is one of the biggest issues you're going to have. A lot of those things will be dictated by where you live. Uh, for example, I'm in New York City, and I have a lot of resources. Uh, I could have gone to a brick and mortar school, um, but because of my age and me having PTSD, I felt it was best for me to just go to an online school, right? Now, if you live in some place in Minnesota, uh, Wisconsin, you actually may not have a film school anywhere near to you, and if for whatever reason you need to be close to where you live right now, um, yes, online film school may be your best bet. Now, the other thing is, uh, and that's my experience on the Los Angeles Film School, um, I would not be there if I didn't think it was a good school, and I still believe that. But online schools in general are not perfect, okay? Um, I will give you an example from my school, but I guarantee it would be the same example as if I went to other school, other schools, right? Now, one of the biggest problems is you do not have your instructors right there with you. And a lot of people that get into film school have zero experience in film. What is not fully a problem, but like I said in another video, uh, if you decide to go to film school, it's probably a good thing to study film a little bit, uh, look at some online uh, like YouTube videos about filmmaking. The thing about filmmaking, most if you're in filmmaking school, uh, you have to know everything. It doesn't matter if you like something better than you like something else. You will have to learn all areas. So. It can be boring to some people. Some people enjoy camera work and they will have to learn producing. Uh, they'll have to learn photography, etc., etc. Anyway, I digress that. So anyway, uh, schools will lack a, uh, certain things. Like for example, when you get your tech kit, it's great. It's a lot of stuff and it's a lot of small pieces that to be honest, you have zero idea what to do with that. And a lot of those things, you may not find tutorials online, basically because not everybody uses the same ports. And, and I have a couple of things of camera gear that I actually never used. I never had to use, and I don't think I may ever do. Uh, very niche, uh, something that actually makes me think that I wish the school had given me something else that I felt the need and they didn't have. Uh, but I understand the reasons why it's just some of those things that are not that useful, okay? But you get in the tech kit and the end of the day, you look at it and you are gonna wish you had quit film school because I feel there's some tutorials that the school should have and they don't because I feel film schools in general, in the most if they started as a brick and mortar school, they expect most of their students to have some background on filmmaking um, before they even start. So they'll, they'll give you a camera cage, what, yes, yeah, you can figure out pretty easy, but you're not sure you've done it right. And that's the easiest part then you're going to have your follow focus, you're going to have your rods, you're going to have just a bunch of stuff. And also the best way to set up your gear, right? 
the school will pretty much tell you how you should set up the basic setup. And it was horrible for me because I had already done my main setup. So I had to take things apart, modify a little bit, show the school, put everything back together. But it was a good thing because now I can do that very proficiency, uh, with a lot of proficiency. So that's one of the things also that just let you guys know I'm going to be doing the channel is I will be doing a lot of those tutorials that I wish existed. And trust me, I looked on YouTube and yes, I did find in pieces on like a 20 minute video, I got two minutes of stuff I needed. So what I'm going to do is I'll just compile everything and make this video. So if you guys are going to film school, this channel may help you a lot. And you know, the reason I'm doing that is I am my capstone project. Um, so everything I'm going to be doing right now has to do with video. I'm actually show you guys a little bit of uh, my project. Not enough that you know exactly what it's about, but you know what it's done. Anywho, let's go on. Uh, the other thing about film school is uh, you can't contact your professors right away. Usually what you have to do is you schedule a time that a lot of times is going to be within a week. Uh, maybe a couple of days if you're lucky. Now, I do have other ways to get those answers, not from the school. And that's one other thing that you lack going to online film school. You may not be able to get the contacts uh, you would if you went to a brick mortar film school. And the thing is, on this type of industry, that's one of the most important things is really who you know, not in the sense of you only get a job if you know someone, but you need to be involved with this group. It's much easier for you if you have a project to present to a studio if you have someone that already worked with the studio. Even if that's just giving you uh, the names of the people you have to talk to, uh, sometimes make a, uh, that person making a call and just let know, hey, by the way, I know someone, he's a really good filmmaker, he's starting up, you, he'll probably contact you. That just helps uh, people to know who you are. You will be missing that. Um, the other problem about going, and, and I know uh, the way I sound, it almost sounds like it's a horrible idea for you to go to film school. No, it's not. Okay, even online film school, it's not. It's just, I'm trying to show you the things you have to keep in mind so you don't get to the end of your uh, your degree and realize you wasted a lot of time. And, and I think that's one of the problems a lot of people that go to, in the most online film school, uh, they say they waste their money. They did not. Well, they did waste their money, but not because of school, more because how they took the school. Like I will always say, film school will not teach you how to be a director. It will not teach you how to be a producer. It will pretty much teach you how to learn to be that, okay? You have to apply your skills at the end of the day. And that's my next point. You have to shoot everything. Now, you're going to have your projects in school. You're going to have to shoot a short narrative film, short documentary. You're going to have your capstone project. You're going to have all those things. And the biggest mistake people make is they'll only shoot, they'll only write a script, they won't do anything when they're told. That's a huge disservice to yourselves if you do that. Um, and I feel that's the biggest problem of why people fail on film school. If you do not use those skills you're learning, you will not learn the things you're doing wrong. Um, you will not learn how to do best. Like practice makes perfection. In film, there's no perfection besides for uh, Mr. Nobody. By the way, watch that movie, really good movie. But perfection is very hard in film. Um, so, but it makes you better. 
If you're not shooting every day, if you're not shooting every chance you can, and don't take me wrong, you may have a lot of footage that is just in your hard drive, and you're like, well, I'm not using any of that, and give a year from now, you need some B-roll, and you remember, hey, I shot this from the train, and I can use that on my film, right, or documentary. So just shoot everything, um, analyze your footage, learn the things you've done wrong, and keep on shooting. The other thing is the things you're going to learn. Um, for example, you learn about lenses, different lenses, but they'll not cover every single lens. That's something you have to do yourself. You, but now on film school, film school will give you the knowledge to search for the extra knowledge you need. Okay. And you're probably thinking, oh no, but I should learn that in school. Well, do you think if you go to law school and you pass your classes, you will be an actual lawyer or at least a good lawyer? Like you're going to finish film school. You are a filmmaker. Are you going to make films? That going to really be the difference, right? So you have to learn those things. And I, I love and hate, uh, Discussion boards, uh, we have to do those uh, in school, in the most online school. And it's terrifying. And I feel within the last few months, I start talking more about it. Because I had this mentality, I didn't want to crush people's dreams. But then I, talking to a friend of mine who is a producer, I realized he does the same to me. And it's not crushing my dreams. It's actually teaching me and making me better, making me realize that I need to fix, I need to do things in a better way. And that has helped me through my whole school. So I start doing that. I, I just feel a lot of people can't take criticism. I try to do it in the best way possible. I try to really explain why, not in a way that is like, hey, you're dumb, you don't know do what you're doing, because honestly, those people are not. I mean, they're college students. They they got to, almost to the end. But I feel sometimes they it, it's that little, little spice they need to actually get their work a lot better. And it, trust me, a lot of times it's something so small that they don't realize. Okay, but the moment they do, they know it's there. It's just like when you look at a movie and you know there's a mistake, you cannot unsee that mistake. Anyway, uh, yeah, so that's the thing. If you guys really want to go to film school, please do, it's great. It's, you learn a lot, but you have to first learn to teach yourself as well. Okay, film school will not teach you everything, but it will teach you how to learn a lot of things and will pretty much give you a path to follow. So, yeah. Anyway, five and a half more months to go. Uh, yeah. Well, I hope this answered any questions uh, people might have. If you're going to school right now in the most of the beginning, uh, I will be posting videos, hopefully every week. If you guys are not in film school, this is probably great for you because I will pretty much put it on the path that I had on film school and teaching you at least to a point of how to apply everything anybody would learn in film school. Anyway, I talk too much because I hate writing scripts and I feel they sound very unnatural in the most... When I read the script, trust me, you'll not want that. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. And as always, I'll see you in the movies.